Hey, I'm Miller the Pillar here, and today's little tutorial is on breathing. And why are we talking about breathing for sport or for yoga? Because it's really important. I always like to think that um, in sport, breathing is kind of like this, like this best friend or this sidekick that no one ever pays any attention to, but is actually a really important player. And um, if you think about sports like running or swimming. I used to swim when I was in high school and if you don't have your rhythm of breath down, you drown, right? And there's no other option for that. I think in every sport, certainly in yoga, this idea of breathing plays an unremarkably like overlooked part in what we do, and certainly um, if we miss out on it, I think we miss out on a lot of opportunity for us to be the best that we could be. So how can we get our breath in control? Uh, there are thousands of years of every culture from pranayama in Indian yoga culture to Taoists, every single ancient culture has an idea of breath, not only in its sort of physical form, but in its mental, mental form. And I mean by that is like, what does that achieve in my mind? And how does that translate into my body? And, you know, we always say, oh, mind-body connection, and, and you throw that around as if it doesn't mean anything, but it does. And if you want to try and connect your mind and your body so they are working in sync, the easiest way to do that is to breathe. So I challenge you to sit down, maybe not now, but save this video and do it later. And I want to run through three little breathing exercises with you. And, uh, and see if you can't find a little bit of control in your breath, but also a little bit of control in your mind. So breathing exercise number one. First step of control is just bringing conscious thought to it. And that is through the nose. So breathing in and out through your nose with thought. Finding the rise and fall of your breath, finding the muscles that are making that happen, your diaphragm working in your body and just identifying it and following the process. So why don't you try it with me right now? Let's just try three breaths, breathing through the nose, in and out. And while you're doing it, just focus on the action that's happening in your body. But instead of focusing on it like you're following it, focus on it like you're making it happen. So use the muscles, deepen the action. So let's try it together. I'm gonna to close our mouth and we'll start three breaths in and out through the nose. So that was three breaths. And I already feel calmer and a little bit better. And I hope you do too. And that's a really great thing you can do at any time. But life isn't always that easy. There's stress, there's external forces. So what I wanna try and teach you now is this idea of four square breath or inhale and hold, exhale and hold. So it's like making a square. It's gonna be an inhale and a hold, and then an exhale and a hold. So I'm gonna picture that in my head as making like a little square a box. And this isn't something new. I didn't make this up. I can't take credit for this. This is something that has been going on for thousands of years. It's a Taoist tradition of this, this square breathing. And I want to try three breaths with you right now. I'm going to hold for two and out for two. And it's going to be a square that goes two, 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 two. Okay, let's try it. We're only going to try two breaths. Remember, all through the nose. Ready? Inhale. That's two. Hold for two. And breathe out for two. And then hold for two. And last time. Breathing in for two. 
hold for two, and then exhale for two. Hold for two, and release. Cool, so it's a little bit tougher. There's a little bit more mental focus that has to happen with that. You're actually holding your breath, and that takes a little bit of mental focus. Okay, last thing I wanna do is I wanna try this fire breath, this breathing out through the mouth. And it's an exhale through the mouth, like I'm making an H sound, like a So try that with me now. Just make a like you're whispering in the letter H. And in order to do that, when you make that sound, I can automatically feel my diaphragm, my abs, everything just really contracts and squeezes. And that's the feeling that you want. And that's why that noise is really important. It actually just helps that process. You get the most of that squeeze. So I wanna try that three times. That's a different little breath. And I like to use this one if I'm just feeling like I want to let something go, then I might use this breath. And, um, and I don't really care if anybody's watching or not. It sounds a bit silly. I got that. But, uh, but why don't we try it? So we'll try three of them. It's in through the nose, and then that's out through the mouth with that, with that H sound. So really deep. I'm going to breathe in for a three count, and I'm going to breathe out for a three count. So it's quite long. It's nice and deep. So let's try it together. Ready? Breathing in for one, two, three, and then breathing out. Let's try it again. Breathing in. One, two, three, and then breathing out. Last time. Breathing in for one, two, three, and then breathing out. Wow, that just feels like I just let everything go. Okay, now, a bit silly, right? But actually, not at all. I think the next time you're in your yoga class or even if you're just at home and you're stressed out and you need to just find some focus, breathing control, one of the three exercises, one of the pranayama exercises that we've done today, and there's so many different kinds. If you Google pranayama breathing, there are so many things that you can do with that. I just thought you three basic easy ones. It's a really great way to learn how to just calm, stop the mind. And then maybe when you're doing something like a sport or your yoga class, you'll be able to focus on that a little bit better. That's why I hope for.